gang 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 what is going on my guys today we're gonna go ahead and continue the drum bound series i'm actually gonna put all these videos in a playlist for you down in the description below the love y'all been showing is crazy i'm trying to hit 50k by the end of the year which is like what in 15 days drop a like and comment right now for the algorithm so that being said let's go straight into this video so today's loop is sent to me by my guy trailblazer beats let's go ahead and take a listen <laughs> Started with the vocals. Alright, so today I want to talk about drum bounce specifically for halftime beats. And I love this range of like the 95 to 100 for one specific reason. And that's because you can mix up sort of the speeds of your drums. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right now. Let's just go ahead and get a pattern in here. I'm going to go ahead and double click. If you guys uh, notice that, that sometimes there's a gap in, in between the loop, all you got to do is open up the audio editor and press this button right here. Trim side noise. Boom. And then drag this back right in. Boom. Perfect. Now we got a perfect loop, right? So because we're at 97 BPM, we kind of have two options so you could put the clap right here and that's what you would normally do right and so let's go ahead and take a listen now that's cool but what you could also do is speed up the claps instead of putting it right here because we're in that like little special range we can put the claps right here and it'll still sound good. So we're gonna go with the double time claps but the rest of the drums are not gonna be double time. I want to do the hi-hats first I want to kind of lay down sort of a foundational bounce. And then we can go ahead and play off that with the rims. Let's go. Fire. Like that. That's it. Foundational bounce. Simple, right? Now, what I want to do is kind of, I want to add like a light hi-hat up here. I feel like a lot of people don't add these like, these high hi-hats up here. So because a lot of people don't do it, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it, you feel me? And then I wanna put this in the same spot right about here, right? That's wrong. There we go, that's it. By the way, all these drum sounds are gonna be in the description, 50% off, go ahead and go copy some fire ass drums, you dig? For these first two bars, it's gonna stay the same. The next two bars is, pretty much gonna say the same except i'm gonna do like a little roll right here so pretty much we have part a part b we go back to part a now this is kind of like part b but not really so we're gonna call that part c so now we're gonna use the perks and kind of play off of the hi-hat bounce let's go from the beginning bump this up and then where this spot is i kind of want to put this um perk right here and then maybe lower the volume of this fire so i'm gonna put this right here put this over here and then maybe we can play with the volume of this one maybe bring it down a little bit and now we can go ahead and kind of reset that bounce because that sounds fucking amazing bro notice how the perks themselves is almost like a hook all right bet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep everything the same we're just gonna delete these two notes right here, kind of let it breathe on the second half of that part. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna keep these notes at the end just so that it's a little bit different from the first half. I'm gonna move them down and we're gonna move them down to right there. A nice little open hat, fro zone. This is one of my favorite unique open hats. Let's cut it off right about here. Now I wanna start kind of arranging this. Uh, so I turn that second version of the sample an octave higher. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an automation with the panning and I don't have pan man so I'm just gonna do it manually I want to go ahead and add a perk loop I'm gonna add that to the second part of the intro now it has way too much low end and it sounds way too epic so I'm gonna kind of lo-fi it up in a sense I'm gonna take out all the lows and a lot of the highs We're gonna have that come in just so that it kind of um feels a little more um cinematic and just so that it's not too stagnant uh, in the intro perfect now we add a little transition right here just like this trim that out move this in here put the volume down all right now we're ready for the 808s what i'm planning for this 808 is what i like to call 808 tension pretty much the idea and this can go for just pretty much all drums and even the melodies too 
start off obviously and it's kind of like the same rule of thumb start off simple and then get more complicated so we're going to start off with one simple note here i'm going to leave mad space and then i'm going to get more complicated towards the end of this four bar just so that number one we're leaving space for the artist but number two like i said it kind of creates tension because you hear this one boom there's mad space you're like what's going to happen what's going to happen and then it kind of resolves into itself so <laughs> fire but this is a little bit too loud there we go oh uh, that sounds cool but we can kind of make more space there we go next note is a g but i actually want to go ahead and just copy that f again and then maybe move to the G way at the end. Let's go ahead from the beginning again. Just to make sure everything is right. Dirty, bro. Maybe a double. And then let's actually use a slide down here, man. A lot of people don't use slides on Zaytovens, on spins. We're gonna go an octave down. And then it kind of just like stops it short. Fire. Now we can go ahead and restart this. All right. Now let's go ahead and make some changes on the second half. I, don't, I just don't want to do the same thing over again. Like I said, I like to change things up every two or four bars. So let's go ahead and double up on that high A sharp there. And then I want to move down to a um, kind of cut it short and just like slide it off. Okay. See, just like that. And then let's go an octave up here because over here we have the low C sharp octave. So I'm going to go higher just to change it up. And then. If you did not pick up a tip from this video, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Drop a comment, bro. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what other kind of videos I should do. And with that being said, I'm going to catch you later. Gang, gang.